I haven't done like any Isaac runs. I'm gonna do a regular old Isaac run. What is tomorrow? Saturday? It's supposed to storm all day. I'll probably be streaming. They fixed the day one DLC stuff. I mean, that's not what the gameplay aspect of it just doesn't look good to me. Guillotine's good, but who wants their one run of Isaac in a month to be guillotine? Yeah, it looks like hell meta progression in Roguebook without a lot of reason to do it. It's got a lot of negative reviews for that reason exactly, Lacker. Because everyone hates Richard Garfield. Garfield made uh, Magic the Gathering and F Feria or whatever it's called and Artifacts wait no did he not make the Feria that was the dev team I don't know I don't know the actual he made Artifacts stuff too because since he made Magic the Gathering he's gone on to do nothing else good but try to make bad Magic the Gatherings is my understanding. I, I don't follow the anger. Just saw a bunch of negative reviews solely based on him. Oh, I ran into a fire reading chat. Deadeye is strong. It's sort of like the, uh, I mean, I'm going to buy this just because I'm lazy. Uh, it's sort of like the player unknown, you know, it just keeps making Battlegrounds games and getting involved with Battlegrounds companies. That's what Richard Garfield has done since MTG. Mario Golf? Is that the new Mario game you're talking about? I watched Assy play it last night. It looks very weird. It doesn't look like Mario. Which is very weird. Damn you. Sorry, it all worked out. Oh, Yoker. Battle golf does sound tight. Who doesn't want to do golf battle? Damn it. I'm amazed I didn't just walk onto spikes when I knocked my vape over on my keyboard. How much is Mario Golf? It doesn't look like it should be a, a, a full $60 game, but probably because it's Mario. Garbage. It's 
It's full price. Hmm. Steep. I'm gonna stand in front of that. Oh, I'm gonna lose my devil deal. I don't even know which one hit me there. I wasn't paying attention at all. Very serious Isaac run here. Super serious. Very serious. Totally not just killing time. All right, now I'm mad. I don't want that. Oh, didn't even need my devil deal after all. I should look before I have five bombs. I don't really care. Hello. Owl jizz. It's my favorite kind of jizz. Tinted rock. I seed it. Now we don't want to get our devil deal. Aww, we've been robbed. Well, that's definitely not what I want. But a day It could have been anything. Big glowy balls. I just can't do handheld gaming anymore. I'm too old. My eyes, my wrists, all of it. None of it can handle it. Sure. Plug it into your monitor. I mean, yeah, but like that defeats a big point of buying most things I would want on Switch, right? I already have Steam. Why, like, I'm not playing Nintendo games. The only real thing that I would like would want about a Switch is indie games, which I can just buy on Steam, and then I don't need a Switch. Since I don't want to play handheld, 
Like, the idea sounds great, but every time I try to play on a, a handheld, I hate it in a matter of minutes. What have I played on my Switch so far? Like, 10 minutes of Breath of the Wild. Because it came with it. And then, uh... A bit of Animal Crossing. But you know what? I, I, I sh will never do that again. Because... I have now officially learned Nintendo will never get multiplayer right. Or make it simple in any fashion. So there's no point in ever buying a Nintendo game again. I did not play Mario Rivets, no. I didn't didn't interest me. It looked like a very easy version of XCOM. I mean, I, I can smell your Nintendo fanboy-ism from here, Tyrone, uh, Tyronin, and you're, uh, you know, you're not going to persuade me. My daughter tried to play Pokemon, which meant I played a tiny bit of the new Pokemon, too. And that was Pokemon. Yeah, I just I got nothing for Nintendo anymore, man. It doesn't interest me even the tiniest bit. I can't think of an IP one that I would... All the IPs I'm interested in are multiplayer, and their multiplayer will never be functional. It'll always be a tedious headache. I really need a health up, but I guess I'll take that. Dragging for six months. Yeah, Pokemon Snap, the biggest disappointment of my youth, second only to Fable. At least Fable was a good game, though. I was just disappointed because they lied about what Fable was. Still turned out to be a pretty okay game. It's not like the best, but still fun.
<laughs> like, I would love to see Pokemon in the wild if it was, like, dark. Like, realistic and dark. I want to see Pokemon fucking eating each other and shit. Killing each other in the wild, you know that. Then I'd then I'd buy Pokemon Snap. And fucking yeah, sure I guess. That's not really the part I want, but you know it's a part of real. Hell yeah, bud. Boost my damage. I'm gonna go die now. Yeah, because Nintendo's dumb, Tyrone. Crazy, weird, archaic practices. Oh, nice sack, baby. My daughter's texting me. Yeah, it's funny how much gamers hate boomers except Nintendo. He's just like the biggest boomer of them all. There's a lot of fan bases, fan bases like that reforming. For sure. Nerd are you now? Oh, I ran into something. Oh, divorce gave me some health. Or yeah, 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 black heart. I get it. sports games I don't I don't play a lot of sports games but you know I guess I could see the argument that you don't get sports games in the same way you don't get Final Fantasy 17 but yeah sports don't really change either they kind of just stay the same Yeah, I would agree. They're they're not really targeted at gamers. They're targeted directly at sports fans, right? 
very specific group of folks. So many men my age I know that only play sports games and don't play any other video games. Just so they can role play as, uh, you know, some famous sports player. <laughs> I know a lot of people play FIFA here. But none of them watched the yeah, actual soccer. Soccer's pretty tight. I get to watch it randomly in the morning after my stream soccer golf the only options you stay away from me with that rotten heart I played a lot of the NHL games back in the day, like till NHL 12 or something. Fuck you. If I had them, I'd still probably boot, like if I had got the new ones. What hit me? What hit me? Who cares? We ain't dead, and that's all that matters. Just keep on trucking. Yeah, Rotten Hearts replace your Red Heart, and they're only half a hit, so... I would have died had I taken that Rotten Heart. Tech Mobile was the best sports game. You're crazy. That was the first game that I played to, like, actual hands and body fatigue. So my thumbs and shit ached. Good times. Yeah, I'm old, dude. We had... Tech Mobile competitions after school, man. We get a whole bunch of kids over and play all fucking day. I like competitive gaming, even if it's football. Put me in. I'm ready. We did Halo 2, but that was later in life. Did you suck on me a little, or am I crazy? Yeah, Eagles have a heart. But fills the whole container. Have I played Bloodborne? Bloodborne? Yeah. I beat it on stream. It is my least favorite of the Souls games. I didn't play Demon Souls, though. So maybe that would be... I have not played Celeste. Blood Bowl. Oh, I thought you said Bloodborne. I'm sorry. Blood Bowl. No, I don't know what that is. Warhammer Football. Oh. Mm -mm. Hey. 
edgy. I always thought sports games were missing murder. It's not true, I didn't. Hey now, don't you attack Warhammer 40k. I love 40k. It's a fun universe, alright? I still don't think they've done any very great video games. But, oh. I don't know, I wouldn't call anything from Warhammer as edgy as, like, GTA, or anything Rockstar has done, for that matter. Doesn't mean it isn't if something is more. Uh, yeah, it does. Definitely. That's it. As long as it's not peak edginess. Not in its prime of edge. Like, I don't know, I've just read a bunch of Warhammer and stuff like that. I don't think it's... Oh, that's Guppy. I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as... I, I wouldn't use the term edgy for it. It's as edgy as an action movie. As fucking Die Hard or something. Which to me is not where we use the term edgy. It's a little grim, but like, I don't know. It is done in a, a cheesy-esque sort of way. I would call it more cheesy than edgy. Yeah, that that I would agree reforming. Like to me when you use the term edgy, like you're it's in intentionally attempting to rile people up and shit, right? Not just contain some excess violence. Hi. Different definitions of it? Possibly, yeah. But mine's correct and superior.
time is it? And where'd I put my cellular device? Dropped it, damn it. Why does my toe not turn on my phone? It's not a real toe. They don't do a lot of damage and they're super awkward to use instead of just shooting. I'm just very strong. I'm probably going to die because I'm just not invested. But I'm very strong. But yeah, after this, we'll be switching over to do some sponsored stuff. Um, I think all this stuff is set up down there. Let me look. But yeah, it's Volta X, which is on Switch and Steam. Uh, it's like a $20 game. It's cheap. But they just added a roguelike mode. And I said I'd fuck around and see. But the basic concept is uh, you control little mech bots in battle. I think it has something to do with uh, ukulele, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like it's in... Uh, yeah. But I have no idea what it's gonna, what what to expect. But I'm always down to fuck off with a roguelike and see. care enough to go reroll that, do I? Hmm, I guess. I have time. Bam, 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 bam. The bloody baby is not shit anymore. I know these Russian fish. I didn't have enough time to fish tonight. Gotta utilize my happy hour. I got some fish in my inventory I hope don't rot. Hello, whore. You watched Alone? I loved that show too for a while. It unfortunately, not to, I won't spoil anything. I think I'm not spoiling anything here, but uh, it has the naked and afraid effect. The more seasons that go on, the more people realize The best key to survival is to not do anything cool. It's not stage. No, 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 no. Uh, not that I know of. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying they get to the point where it's further in the seasons it becomes a lamer and lamer show. I am because 
just like Naked and Afraid. The way to beat Naked and Afraid is to just lay there and do nothing until you get evacuated. The first few seasons of Alone, though, were very, very good. Very, very good. I couldn't do it, man. Not alone. No way. No way. I would die. I would actually die too. They'd have to, they'd medically evacuate me because I would uh, be in this constant state of like I don't want to disappoint everyone slash fucking kill me. I'm not gonna get up and do anything. I have zero motivation alone. It's a problem. A true problem. Something I need to figure out. Lots of conversations going on. That's good. I'm running out of time, sick. Yeah, don't have time. Speed run now. Mmm, juicy. Whatever you just said. Oh, fuck you, game. So this is speedrun. Don't run me to a dead end. I was supposed to do things today, but then I woke up and jumped in Dumb Dog's chat and said auto chess, and he said yes. And now here we are, four hours later. Bookworm. No, it's my fault. I haven't even put pants on yet. Done nothing. I needed to shower real bad today, but that's alright. We'll just stink instead. I made a sandwich, so that's a pretty big victory. I don't look forward to another Tarkov wipe. Only because it means I'll get 9 million questions asking if I'm going to play Tarkov again. And me being like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait.
Which is really how I feel. Like, I love Tarkov. I just hate that. I also just hate it. I just hate that it's such a currency driven game, man. Such an economy currency driven game. But we'll never get rid of it now. The Q load times can be frustrating. Yeah, I could see that. I don't mind inventory Tetris. I still hear they have this that long arcing goal of making it an MMO someday. But yeah, it seems a little unbelievable now when it's as successful as it is as it is. I mean, they don't ever have to do anything again with it, right? It's already made a massive fortune. Guess I win. I'll just never understand the player-driven economy side of it. Like, that is just, to me, that game contradicts itself in so many different ways. It's hilariously bad. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Subs and stuff. I love you. See you probably tomorrow.